Alvaro Hurtado representing ACS MMA, 22 years old. Wrestled for four years out of Clearbrook here in Houston. Is a member of the National Guard. Has aspirations to turn professional once he gets out of the National Guard, which will likely be next year in April. Five foot 11, conventional fighter. Head coach Drew Radicek in his corner. Has cross trained with Drew, Coach Drew, since he was in high school in high school wrestling. He's trained with him off and on. So, Coach Drew Radicek, a big influence on this young man's career. Looking to improve tonight and earn his second victory in mixed martial arts. Last touches on Alvaro Hurtado from Coach Drew Radicek. To start this middleweight bout between these two young fighters. Alvaro Hurtado ready for action here tonight against Juan Manuel Sanchez. And here we have, coming to the cage, Juan Chiquilin Sanchez. From originally from Mexico. Recently moved here to Houston the past eight months. 20 year old Juan Sanchez. Through the little English that he speaks and the little Spanish I speak, was able to get a couple of facts from this young man. Very polite young man. Told me that he fought in Mexico eight times. Won all eight fights. Not sure if those are Officially counted on his record. Since he's been here in Houston, he's had three fights, winning two of those. When asking him about his nickname, Chicken says that's Spanish word for chicken that much of the time, since he's taller than most of his opponents, he kind of was walking like a chicken to try to get under them to work some of his MMA skills. So that is the origins of his nickname. The six foot two, 20 year old Juan Chiquilin Sanchez. The Southpaw fighting out of four rounds fight club. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for three rounds in the cage combat middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet 10 inches tall and weighing in at 187 pounds. Representing American Combative Systems, he has an amateur record of two wins, no losses. This is Alvaro. Hurtado! There to introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed in at 185 pounds. He is a four ounce fighter with an amateur record of one win, only one defeat. This is Juan Manuel Sanchez! So I stand corrected with the two records. Alvaro Hurtado is actually Two victories, no defeats, as they said. Juan Sanchez standing at one and one, according to our ring announcer's notes. And referee Jeff Rexro to in charge of the action. And this bout is official. Middleweight bout between Southpaw conventional fighters. Hurtado coming out strong. 
And Sanchez answers back, has her total hurt. Looking for a possible arm and guillotine. Can he finish it? Hurtado looking for a possible single leg takedown. Neck crank attempt possibly there by Sanchez. Hurtado showing his wrestling background. Wrestled at Clearbrook High School here in Houston for four years. Sanchez defending using that wizard technique to fend off Hurtado's takedown attempt. Creating space there, Sanchez looking, now he transitions to Underhook, is able to scramble his way out. Nice job there by Sanchez. Push kick attempt. And we see a spinning back kick there by Sanchez. Bouncing up on his toes, confident looking fighter there in Juan Manuel Sanchez. Alvaro Hurtado stalking Sanchez, looking for his openings. Body kick. Being sure to move his head there from the longer fighter in Juan Sanchez. High kick there by Juan Manuel Sanchez. Has Hurtado backing up. Hurtado able to land a takedown off of Sanchez's flying knee to attempt. Speaking to Sanchez yesterday, he's looking for a lot of uppercuts and flying knees. And he has stayed true to his word thus far. That was two high knees there. Hurtado made him pay for that and scored a solid takedown in that last high knee attempt. Hurtado now enjoying top position. Short strikes to the body. Softening up Sanchez with a little bit of ground and pound. Sanchez now with an open guard, seeing if he can create some space to try to pop out. Let's see what he can do with this position. Smothering Hurtado's head. Trying to make less room for Hurtado to create space to get some power on those ground and pound punches. It's playing with fire there when you're standing there with your guard open there like Sanchez is doing. Hurtado not making him pay for it. Sanchez happy on top to work a little bit of his ground and pound. Stiff shots there by Hurtado. 10 seconds left in this round. Hurtado looking to strong, finish strong. As with Sanchez. Sanchez, smart fighter. Picked it up when he heard that 10 second. So on the feet, the story unfolds with Juan Manuel Sanchez looking to be a little bit more of the aggressor when it comes to the feet. Alvaro Hurtado able to score some solid takedowns and show what he can do on the ground. So both fighters displaying their strengths and trying to impose one will against the other. I One could argue that Hurtado was able to win that first round slightly with that takedown and finish and control for about half of the round on top. We'll see if Sanchez can avoid being taken down to the ground this fight. He kind of slipped on that one, so it was kind of a freebie takedown. So let's see if he can get his high knees under control, his flying knees under control, and land something big. Jeff Rexroad about to start the second round between these two middleweight fighters. Southpaw and conventional. Hurtado having to overcome a long reach of Sanchez. Sanchez, the longer fighter. You see him taking advantage of that reach, creating space, a lot of movement, peppering Hurtado with his jab when he can. See if he can set up possibly another flying knee. These two going back and forth, nothing solid so far. He's still able to avoid any solid contact at the moment. That might change here at any moment now. There's those uppercuts that Sanchez was talking about yesterday that he's gonna be looking for.
high kick attempt by Sanchez, narrowly misses. Superman punch there by Sanchez. These two showing each other a lot of respect. Sanchez occasionally come out with something flashy. Spice up this fight. Now he's got her title backing up with his strikes. Sanchez being the aggressor now has her title in trouble. Sanchez looking to shoe shine there. Her title able to bounce back. And he scores big with a takedown. Nice strategy there by Hurtado. He was getting eaten up on his feet with those strikes by Sanchez. Takes it to his world now. Now they're on the ground. Now let's see what Hurtado can do. If he can make up for the damage that Sanchez did. Sanchez still with that unorthodox open guard. Trying to create space. Hurtado lets him get away with it. Short choppy punches from on top there by Hurtado. Possible submission attempt by there, Sanchez. Seeing if he can push Hurtado's arm through. It was like he was looking for a possible triangle attempt. Now back to the closed guard that these two. Nice. Going down to the body. Sneaking some shots to the head there by Hurtado. Digging his head into Sanchez's chest and just Throwing some leather to the body, to the head. It ain't pretty, but it is effective, ladies and gentlemen. Those do not feel good. <laughs> 10 seconds left in this round. Hurtado seeing if he can finish with a possible submission attempt. <laughs> and we have the end of the second round. So, one could argue Hurtado narrowly won the first round with the control in that last second takedown that he scored. While one could also make the argument on the flip side that Sanchez won the second round with those effective strikes and having Hurtado in trouble there for the first part of the second round. So we have a situation where the fight, this fight is gonna go into the third round. Both fighters likely gonna need this third round to secure the victory. It's going to be interesting to see how these fighters react and come out, depending on what their cornermen tell them. I would have to believe, though, that both of them are being told right now, you need to finish this round. You need this, you need this round big. Anticipating to see something flashy from Sanchez at the start of this round. Open this round out big, make a statement. Looking to see Hartado find his opening for a takedown. Third and final round. Big Superman punch there by Sanchez. There's that flashiness I was... And straight into the takedown that Hurtado was looking for. Both of these fighters imposing their will onto each other. Sanchez showing what he can do from the feet while Hurtado showing his dominance on the ground in the grappling. Hurtado looking to smother a victory away from Sanchez. Can't quite see the angle right here if Sanchez has anything in danger of Submission attempt onto Hurtado. But it just looks to be regular top position. Jeff Rexroad keeping an eye on the action, seeing if possible stand-up coming up, if there's no improvement of action here soon. Sanchez there with wrist control, seeing if he can scoop up a submission here. Hurtado shakes it off back to squaring up. Back to his ground and pound. Jeff Rexro keeping a close eye on the action. Hurtado having Sanchez's head against the cage there for a moment. Sanchez trying to scramble out, working up to his feet if he can. Sanchez trying to wall walk. Can he get back to his feet? 
Hurtado desperately trying to keep Sanchez down. That takes a lot of energy to try to keep your opponent down. See Hurtado trying to secure a takedown again. Big takedown there by Hurtado. Slamming Sanchez to the ground. Less than a minute left in this fight. Time is running short for Sanchez. Sanchez tying up Hurtado's head. This is looking to be Hurtado's round. All control there by Hurtado. Can Sanchez get back to his feet and land a huge last second knockout? 10 seconds left. And this fight is officially in the books. We go to a judge's decision between Alvaro Hurtado and Juan Manuel Sanchez. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges saw that bout. I would possibly give this two rounds to one for Alvaro Hurtado, depending on how you saw that second round. Excuse me, I think it was actually the first round. How you saw that first round, whether you scored it for Hurtado Ladies and or Sanchez. After three rounds of action. We go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Judge Chris Reed scores the fight 29 to 28 for Alvaro Hurtado. Judge Joe Solis scores the fight 29 to 28 for Juan Manuel Sanchez. And Judge Chance Williams scores the fight 29 to 28 for your winner by split decision, Alvaro Hurtado. Alvaro Hurtado able to squeak out the split decision victory and earn his third victory in the cage. Improves to 3-0. Squeaked out the victory here tonight over Juan Manuel Sanchez. Good job there by Alvaro Hurtado. Juan Manuel Sanchez with his creative offense. Look forward to seeing him in the future here at Cage Combat as well.